Hey guys, Nicole here. I recently shared this template in the community that features a drag and drop interaction. When you've dragged all the items to the correct drop targets, you see this message and a continue button. That continue button is located on the final feedback custom state of my text box. A helpful community member pointed out to me that they weren't able to add a trigger to the continue button. And when I investigated, I found that even though it looks like you can add a trigger, you can't edit triggers when you're editing a state. There are a few quick and easy ways to fix this or work around the issue. And one quick way I found of doing it is to do the following steps. With the button selected, press Ctrl and X to cut the button. You can also right click on the button and select cut. Then click Done Editing States to return to the base layer. Now press Ctrl V or right click and select Paste to paste the button on the base layer. Simply add whatever trigger you want to your button. The key is to add the trigger to your button before you copy and paste it onto your custom state. Now you'll simply cut your button again, return to the appropriate state, and paste your button. Now the trigger will appear and it will work. So if we preview this interaction, you'll see that now when all the drag items are in place and the continue button appears, I can click on it and jump to the next slide. The trigger now works. So that is how you can add a trigger to the continue button that is in the drag and drop template that I shared with the community. Thanks for watching.